what is going on friends we are back with a shot on live this time it's just me um maga mobile came out today so i wanted to give it a go i wanted to test it out shout out to you sorry for passing me this team i'm not sure if he made this or if this is like a team sedert's made or if they like i think this is um sorry's team and he like made some changes because mobile came out now so i think 168 speed is enough for skarmory which is nice so you don't get roosted on so it's not that much super effective um yeah we have um defensive lando i don't know exactly what the speed is for uh, i assume it's for like definitely for opposing landos maybe it's for no i think max speed beginner would definitely outspeed this i don't know what this is for so um we just have we have standard greninja pretty much standard um some some run ice beam or hydro pump in the slot just gunk shot for um, Tapu Fini so they don't get defogged on HP fire for Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn is a good check to Mega Morwile. Uh, Scarf Chomp so we don't get ass ripped. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so we don't get destroyed by Volcarona. Drenkler Outrage. Hmm. Rock Slide is weird. Maybe I'll change this to Stone Edge. We'll keep Rock Slide for now because it can flinch and I'm scum. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, Rock Slide. Tangro, so we don't get set up on by Volcarona again in case this gets like low or this dies. So at least Volcarona doesn't set up on this, and it also can it's nice to catch the Zard X, uh, Zard Y on a switch in HP Fire for Scizor and Ferrothorn again for Ferrothorn because yeah, so Mawa can put in some work. And we have um, Z Move Gengar with uh, Taunt, which can be pretty nice versus Balance. I don't have points on this account, I don't know if I mentioned it yet. Um, I might call this Road to Top 10 Part 1 because I was um, planning to do a Road to Top 10 for a while. And like since I was recording so much SBL I never came to it and like SBL is over in a few weeks so maybe I won't call it Part 1 because maybe it's better to wait uh, how the meta like evolves. I have no idea like I have to adapt to a new meta but more well. <laughs> so. This guy has offense with a Breedome. Breedome is a potential lead. I don't think I lose anything from leaving with um, Tangrowth. The only thing that would be annoying is if he leads Marowak. Yeah, I think Landers is fine. Landers is a fine lead. Don't want him to lead with Marowak. I don't know why he leads Laddie. I can go hard into Morwell here, but I don't think that's the optimal play. I think Tangrowth is fine here. And I can just, um, yeah, he went for Draco Meteor when I have a Mawal. I don't agree with that play. So, what does he have to switch in here? I wish I had Earthquake because I would go for Earthquake because it would hit the Merrick and the Mawal. Because I think he's going either Merrick or. I think he's going Mawal on a knockoff potentially. I think um, Garchomp is a good play here. Greninja is also a good play. Because he's either going more while America, like I said. And now we can go for HP Fire. Oh, yeah, we can go for HP Fire. This should be fine. As this should do a lot to the mobile. It just dies because we get a crit. Um, sorry if that mattered. I don't know the calc. That might have mattered, but I'm pretty sure we live any hit from Marvel. I might be not died to Thunder Punch, but we love. Actually, I don't know if we love a player because this thing is frail. So he goes into Marowak. I don't know why, because I can just Hyro Pump this unless he's some random Scarf Marowak or something, which is not this, which is not the case. So I don't know what is going on. Um, some random guy just joined and is talking. Let me ignore him. Yeah, I'm on a new on so because um, I realized when I like am on my main art people try hard way too much. Some people like took like 90 seconds to make their play. So he's gonna mark punch here or he's gonna spore. Um, Landris is not. I don't really need Landris for anything, so I'm gonna throw Landris in. Landris is nice for the Zygarde, but I have a Changros in the back, so I'm not really worried. And. I don't lose anything by going from going to Tangrowth here as he goes to Zygarde. And I'm pretty sure I can just click um, knockoff here. 
So he brings us this type of Coco. This could be Z Brave Bird. As it is a Zap plate, okay. And he just forfeits. Okay, so we moved on to the next game. I mean this is obviously lower ladder, so we might not face the best opponents, but okay, this guy has some heat. Um I Mobile actually didn't do anything. I didn't get to send Mobile. Didn't send Mobile out in the first game. So he could leave with this uh, Palo Swine or with the Pelipper. I don't know why he has this when he has a Pelipper because he usually use this in the sun. I want to lead off with Mobile like so badly. But I don't think it's the way to go. I just like Greninja as a lead here. Okay, Exelgo, Exelgo outspeeds Greninja. Um, this is probably like Spike's lead, but I'm still gonna go to Mowal here. Guess this would have been nice to leave with Mowal. Maybe I should have looked more at his team. And Focus Blast is 10 million. Good God. Let me just fire off a sucker punch. That killed? Okay, oh man, I'm recruiting everyone today, but more I got a kill, that's nice. This guy's saying oof oof, um, let me ignore him, that's annoying. He's probably gonna go for like... Yeah, it speeds me, he's probably gonna go for Shadow Sneak. Do I need my guard, uh, like my Landers for... I don't think my Landers does, do, does that much this game, and like I don't really care if I get really Wisped. Scarf Chomp on the other side is nice for like revenging Houndoom. Okay, why? Okay, Pelipper. Did he predict my lander? I can just U turn out and. I mean, yeah, I could have gone Rocks up, but I'd rather U turn out. Do my tank groove. I'm kind of disappointed, man, that my mobile didn't get to do that much. I like at least for now. I didn't even know this gets knocked off. I will throw off my own knockoff. Like a hurricane would hurt, but I'm Yeah, Tangros doesn't even do that much this game, so you knock off is a salt vest. Um I, f I feel like going Gengar or or oh, Garchomp would be fine. If he goes for Sunny Day, that would be. I think Garchomp is the place because we scarf, and okay, we 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 weren't, we wear scarf. We're not scarf anymore. I don't know what what is going on with this mono knockoff spam. Uh, Drain Claw should kill this, and in case he goes Pelipper, we get some damage on that. Okay, he's defensive for sure. That nothing. I mean, Rocky Helmet does make sense that he's defensive. Uh we can go for a Rock Slide. Get a potential flinch, and if he makes some weird double like that, we get some chip on the Pylos one. I don't want to take an ice shot to the face. Um, let's go Greninja. He's either gonna go for an ice move over rocks here. Yeah, exactly. And we can go for hydro pump here. We hit our hydro pump nice and we kill the pulse one. Yeah, this is not <laughs> not that competitive. Hope we get some nice games. I mean, I will make this a longer life. Uh, like I need to get this alt up anyway. Like I only had one alt, which was decently high. And actually, we have Padlop's mom, which is at the, at the seventy hundreds. But the record got ruined because like my friends let up there with eight show. I mean, I also ruin records when I let up with eight show, but it's just a bit annoying. I like to have a decent GXE. So I don't know why Harlem is his counter. I think he's mega, right? I can just hydro pump this like I don't know. Key scarf on them. It's a set now. I mean it's a double down because we we died a life up here. We can attempt to get a kill with more while here if he goes to Pelipper, which would be nice. Cause we could thunder punch you that. Goes to Victory Bell. I might just suck at this. Okay, he goes Pelipper. I mean, this dies to Thunder Punch unless. Unless he runs speed and is fast, or. Yeah. So, like, Mobile's gonna get a kill here unless he's super fast. Okay, this gonna. Come on, dude. 
this mon needs to do work. This is I want to put this in the thumbnail. Like you can't just leave like that. Now you pause it. Maybe he will come back. Okay, so the guy just timed out, which is sad. I wanted Mole to get the kill. I mean, we got the sucker punch kill with the crit that probably mattered. So we're facing mono green or what is this supposed to be? Mon this is not green, my friend. I will like he has a Pharaoh on the wall, this which is really annoying. I don't want to lead off with Mono because Pharaoh is a potential lead. I feel like Gengar is a decent lead here. Yeah, Gengar seems to be seems to be pretty good in this matchup. If I can hit my focus blasts. We will find out if I can hit my focus blast. He is the first one. <laughs> My Gengar is well trained, but this Trampa is bulky as flip, and there goes my Gengar because he got a <laughs> Berserk boost. I don't know if this is a Solvest or if this was just Trampa's natural bulk that he could eat that up. He doesn't have that much speed dev. Maybe he was AV then. Not sure. I'm kind of surprised that Tebow killed me though. Because Gengar has decent speed dev. Um, yeah, we can bring in our Mawal here and. can click um play rough like yeah if he I would like SD but we cannot afford to SD cuz nah no, we will just thunder punch I don't want to risk missing and yeah this kills obviously um Tharazon is actually not even the best kind of the model cuz you can SD up on Tharazon and kill it with plus six play rough Leech Sheet and Gerable is gonna be annoying though. You're gonna get worn down like super much, like a lot, a lot. Um, Zagat comes out. Zagat outspeeds me. I want to stay in. I have a Changros, which doesn't have HPI. So if he if he's the call set, I think it's the better play to go Landris. Because if he calls up and I go Changros, I'm just in a super bad position. So the man just went for Earthquake. So this thing gets thousand errors, but this guy said let's just run Earthquake instead. Um, I can go in my Roxy's probably. Oh, I thought he would go into Feral Zone, but this guy just wants to sack his Zaya. That's interesting. Like, I want to double, but this guy is just making weird plays, so I'm just gonna attack what's in front of me, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the low ladder for you. He's just gonna go for plus one outrage, and that did nothing. <laughs> like, this Lando, Lando's just, is not even mixed defense, that was like chewed. Nice chewing gum, okay. Carino. I don't know why I said that. I have, I need to stop saying that. Um, shoutouts to Pylop, man. That's so annoying that you always says that shit in call and then I would... Uh, this could have Ice Beam, it's just... Okay, we dodge a Stone Edge. I don't know that if that would've killed. If he was banned at max speed... Not Jolly Band is not a set, I think he was Scarf. Not too sure, but um... Mawa should be able to live a hit. Um, I kind of want to predict this Pharaoh and go for SD, but this guy's playing super weird. Yeah, but I want to go for SD. Okay, we could just dodge everything. Sucks for my opponent. But yeah, I will just attempt to go for game with my Mawa. As he gets a crit, which is some justice for him. I just want to go to plus 6 so I can kill his. So I can kill his uh, Pharaoh Thorn. Let's just suck at this. I mean, I guess if you're lucky and dodge stonish like that, it's easy to set up. Uh, this has hypercutter, by the way. I probably mentioned it earlier, so you don't get intimidated. I'm um, not sure if he has healing wish or trick, but I will just suck a bunch. I'm not trying to get psychic to HP fired here. If I not go for sucker. Yeah, okay, nice. So it is low ladder. It is mo like almost mono green, and he's playing weird, but I don't care. I won't. I'm fine with mobile doing work. If you can hit this play rough. Nice, nice. We kill the Ferris on. He's not Rocky Hunt. Okay, nice. And we can just go for Thunder Punch on the on the Snorlax because I don't have to risk a player of missing. And we've got a few more games, maybe two more. Maybe s we will see. We're gonna get some triad eventually, so that looks. Mono Shani is like. <laughs> uh, it looks a bit disgusting, honestly. I don't like most Shani's how they look. Especially this. Yeah, look at this. 
So again, this guy has a Pharaoh Thorn, which is a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. This goes annoying because it outspeeds more and can off quick. This can kill with off power. This can. Um, would it be Mega Sable on this team? I feel like Gengar is an okay lead in this one. See if he leads uh, Sableye. I can go for Shadow Ball and then I should live a knockoff. Um, I should live a knockoff because I have a Z move. I should collect this, but I can also go hard into Mobile here, which is risky. Yeah, I'm gonna go hard into Mobile here, pretty and knock off. Okay, Tita comes out. I think I can SD up here. I don't mean I have a cut at this game. Like I expect the Feral so and that's why I SD'd up. That was a bit risky. If he was banned at Fire Punch, I would have gone blown away. So yeah, we'll just SD up on this. Hopefully he doesn't have T-Wave. Ah, uh, he has T-Wave, he hits. Which is a bit annoying. We're still faster though, thanks to the Thunder Wave being nerfed. As he substitute Feral. Oh my god. So I have to hope that I don't get paralyzed. Oh! We don't take damage the turn that the sub is out. And I hope I don't can hit this player off and kill him as of course it would be too nice if that would have worked but of course we have to get paralyzed on that turn this mobile just destroys him if he doesn't get paralyzed Jarabal does nothing because he parried me please just don't get parried and hit this please thank you Mawa there we go kill another Ferrothorn um I'm not just suck at this like Actually, I'm leech seated. He will probably outplay this Hucker Punch. Yeah, should have switched out. I should have switched out. That was my fault. That was really bad playing on my part. I'm gonna just go to Lander, we'll get the rocks up, and then, um, then break his sub. Oh, he has a. If he goes hard into Sableye here, this guy's a god, but yeah, I'm not playing god. SD is a bit annoying. I'm. Acrobatics. Okay, that's a little shitload. So if I lose my landers, it's gonna be annoying, but I think I'm forced to spam HPIs here. I can just go Greninja. And I kinda I have to hope that I hit a Hydro Pump. If I'm real I, like oh he doesn't have protect, okay. I could spike on his protect if he had protect. But yeah, he goes hard Chicha, so Chicha is apparently Greninja switching now. Her pump should uh, do a shitload. Okay, that actually added up. We just have to hit another one as we do a hit. Amazing. And I don't know why he goes back to this. Like, is he trying to life up stall me or is he trying to dodge? Okay, that's not how it works, dude. We hit out here. My Greninja is well trained. Here on Black is actually a big threat because. I don't have low kick on this, which would be amazing. I mean, it's a big threat as, as and I have no switch ins, but that's nothing new. I can check it offensively. Um, if it's Scarf, it could be annoying to deal with. But now nah, if it's Scarf, I could play around. Like, I'm thinking if I should keep my Greninja. I don't have Ice Beam, so I don't think there's a point in keeping this. I just want to get up a spike to weaken his Sableye a bit more. And if he goes for. Okay, he went for Sub Zero Slammer. That's fine. Like, I can just go to, like, um. I can go to Garchomp or Gengar, but Garchomp is fine. Don't want to risk missing. I should just. Drenklaw's fine here, like. Sable, I will take a lot, because hazards are up. Too bad the Sandstorm ends this turn. Actually, the Sandstorm didn't end, because he has a Smooth Rock, which will. I think I can go hard mobile here. He's, he's a he has to recover a wisp or he knocks off. Okay. So we can play rough here. I mean, we can get paralyzed. Okay, just forfeit. So he takes the kill from our mobile away. Let's grab another one. See. Okay, we got. 
a talent flame it could be zemo of talent flame so it could be scarf chomp and rocks pharaoh it could be the rocks chomp spikes pharaoh he doesn't and either scarf or zemo pharaoh zemo if it's not Zemo of Talent, it could be Zemo of Hermosa. He also has priority in this, and if this is Ash Greninja, he also has Water Shuriken. I mean, Priority Greninja can also win Water Shuriken, but it's more. Uh, most of the time, we see it on Ash Ninja. I like um, Greninja as a lead in this one, even though Fermosa is a good lead for him. Fermosa is a good lead for him, but I'm still gonna leave him my Greninja. As I can, like, attempt to HP fire this. Because that would be nice if I can bop this for my mobile. Amazing, we just killed it turn 1. So he's probably more fist death, because the death feral is uh, HP fire, I'm pretty sure. Or the mixed defensive one. Um, I thought he was like, he might scout for it, but since I'm on a low ladder, I don't think there was a point. And okay, just forfeits and says bye. Uh, interesting, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> yeah, Protein Green just crazy mon, like doesn't really have switch ins and you can't just force switches and get up a spike like we all you, you all of you like all of you should notice um really nice to see alone like i said you two on the diff on the opposing side so it's scarf chomp or uh, not scarf chomp rocks chomp or now here we go or trend obviously so i'm just trying to look what what's the roles on this team so mega pincers mega pincers are threat so it would be really nice to get rocks up for that I think Landris is a fine lead in this one. Mm. I like Garchomp in this one, honestly. Hopefully he's not Balloon. Nice. Uh, I don't lose anything from clicking off Quake. I lose something because he can go into Pinsir and then SDR, but... His Pinsir is grounded at the moment, so it will take... Okay, Executor is fine. He knows I'm Scarf now. Get some chip. I could have gone for Drunk Claw there. Um, this gets Flamethrower, I don't want to bring my Mawal in. I think, I think Tangles is the play here. As that's HP Ice, and he picked up my Lando question mark. I think that's what he did. I'm gonna just go for a knock here. As he crits me, okay. So we get rid of the choice specs. Damn, that would be nice if he was locked in. I could have gone the Mawal after. Um, yeah. Tangros is nice for his type of Fini. I don't want to sack this. I'm gonna go Ganga, expecting him to go for HPIs or Giga Drain. Or like, either Grass move or Hidden Power again. Okay, so I could have gone more. We gotta disable off, which doesn't really matter. We can just fire off a Sludge. Uh, Shadow Ball or Sludge Wave? I don't know if Shadow Ball kills this, so. We'll just go for Sludge Wave. Actually, Shadow Ball kills this. I'm a Ganger. Okay, never mind. So I just set my Ganger basically. Wow. So when you. <laughs> like. I never really played against a Lolan Executive, so I don't know how bulky it is. That was embarrassing. Good God. It has good HP. But he was maybe like maybe it's just max HP and that's just enough to live ahead. Um, getting up rocks would be really nice here. Yeah, if he gets for HPIs, it's gonna hurt. But he's minus two, so so it should be fine. Oh, never mind. I disabled his HPIs, right? Yeah, I disabled his HPIs. So I'm really I'm in a nice position. He cannot even HPIs me. I really want the rocks for the pincer. Draco's still gonna hurt. Um, I can you turn out here? Because I want to bring in something that scares off the Feeny so he doesn't just get a defog off. Yeah, that's why I wanted to U turn too, so he doesn't just bring the Feeny in. I'm not sure if Gunshot kills from this range, but I think that's my best play, just going for Gunshot. He could pivot into like Scarf and the Heligo here, but I don't even know if Scarf and Heligo kills Greninja. You can just sack. I mean, he might just sack the the executor. Um, I hope this kills as it does. Amazing! So the rocks are here to stay, which is what we need. 
Um, yeah, I'm always not that good in this match since he has a Heatran. Actually, Thunder Punch still does a lot, so Heatran is not a good switch. And Thunder Punch like two hit KOs after rocks. If it's max HP, he has a, a chance to live two Thunder Punch after rocks. But if he's just uh, offensive trying to get the trade killed for sure. Um, so this could be Scarf Chomp. Um, my Scarf Chomp is important to check the pins. So I feel like going land is the play here. As he's gonna go for Dragon Claw, Outrage, or uh, Earthquake. Maybe he's mixed. He just goes for Arnett. Okay, I'm on the low ladder. That's odd set. Um, I'm free to fire off an Earthquake. I can HP Ice too. Um, Earthquake should be fine though. I feel like Earthquake is fine. Like, okay, he just sexed it off, so it doesn't matter what I click. I'm gonna see if I grab one more after this. Mobile didn't do as much as I was hoping. My man Padlop said um, that Mobile is UU material, so I don't really agree with that. I haven't tested Mobile enough, and I know Arcanine is in UU, which is a really good counter to Mobile if you run a bulky set. But Arcanine is weak to rock, so you cannot switch in off. And okay, this man just forfeited, so this doesn't count. Let's just get one more. Yeah, um, you can you can like let me know in the comments down below what you think about Mobile as we get a real team. We finally get a real team. This looks scary. I don't know what this guy said. Why? Well, Corona is also a good check to Mawa. Let me just ignore you because you're annoying. Toxapex is going to be a pain to deal with. Um, not for Mawa, but for Ninja. This guy just said mod chat plus. I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, nothing is wrong with him, but I don't know why he put much in. Zemo of Ganga could be nice in this game to weaken. Toxapex. I'm just gonna lead off with my good ninja. Um, this could be Scarf Katana, so there's no way I'm staying in here. Just gonna go to Tangros. Don't want my Landorus to get chipped. As I can go for. A rock slide here, predicting a vol corona. So he's let's let's think. He's either gonna go toxapex or vol corona here. I don't really have a catch all play, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock slide, hoping he goes vol corona. Please hit. Amazing, we catch this Volcarona that just dies. Feels good, feels good. I mean, I feel like he should have gone into Toxapex. That's why I wanted to go for a knockoff. But on the off chance, he makes the risky play, the unnecessary risky play, which is a bad play in my opinion, going hard with Corona. I wanted to click that rock slide. <laughs> feels good. <laughs> so this guy is probably like, oh, what the fuck is this? That's not sad. Um, I think he was Zemo for Corona, but he could also be Zemo for Lanners. Um... Landris is his only rocker, so nah, I don't think he's, he could still be, yeah. This is his only rocker, he could be Z move without double dance. Um, we don't have Hazard control, so I'm really fine with just exchanging rocks, even though the thingy that was weak to rocks on his side already died. Um, so I think HPIs is a better play here. Rocks are not that important now that the Volcarona is dead. The only thing, like, these two are neutral the rocks, this doesn't care about rocks before it's maggot. This resists rocks, this yeah, has regenerator and it's bulky and it's black such probably. So I'ma throw off an HPI since I'm faster, in case he does the same, I can like two it KO him if he stays in. If he's if he hard switches into Zam, I guess that's an option. If he has HPIs on his Zam, but I don't think that's a set. You can even go hard and toxic packs, because I'm like not offensive on this land risk. We get a nice 52% off on him, and he just goes for a knockoff, so he takes some extra damage. I feel like I can um, get my rocks up here. As I thought he would go. I thought he would switch out there, because the HPS was obvious. Now he's either going to go for t spike, which doesn't make sense, because I have a Gengar. He's going to Skull Burn Fish. Um... I kind of want to keep this Landris, so... Nah, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. I don't need Landris for that much, and if he doesn't get the burn, he's forced out. 
as he doesn't get the burn. If he goes to his landers, he goes to his landers. I'm just care. I just uh, no. I'm my HP ice here, right? You don't just suck your toxic packs. My HP ice here on the landers. Ah, stop me. I mean, that was a bit unnecessary risky because I'd better landers anyway. But I, f I just knew he wouldn't sack his toxic packs. Yes, this is only low ladder, no reason to get jive, but that was nice. <laughs> Especially the Volcarona play earlier. Um, this could be the Tapu, um, the SD Tapu with Fatinium Z, or. But like I said, I thought the Z movement was the Volk. So this could be Bandit or Scarf. Switch ins? I don't really have switch ins, so I'ma just sack this. Get out an HP ice if I'm faster, but that was, um, yeah, he's obviously faster since he's probably running max speed on his Bulu. So I don't know if he's Scarf, so there's no point in going Gengar. I feel like going Mawal is fine. Not having Intimidate here sucks. Um, I'm gonna just play off here, right? In case he stays in. Like he should like if he goes toxic packs, that's fine. Okay, I should have SD'd. But Plurov into Sudden Punch should kill this. Yeah. I mean I don't have a reason to risk getting burned, so I'm just Thunder Punch. This Cortana comes out. Um not really sure why Cortana is the counter. I can SD on this and then can kill it with Sucker Punch. As I guess this now Sucker Punch is a roll since Sucker Punch is a roll to kill him. But I'ma just go for this roll because okay, rip. You don't get the roll. I didn't wanna have SD again and then have him switch out on my sucker, which is why I wanted to go for the roll. I'ma just suck again, I don't care if he switches. He's gonna switch, but it's honestly fine. Mama got one kill on toxic packs, that's fine with me. This doesn't have to sweep like let me look. Oh, nice. We get another kill. Let me look at the attack stat. 1356 attack. Yum. Spicy, my friend. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna just go for T punch. He's gonna make some. Like, he's probably gonna try to predict my sucker punch. If he doesn't, I don't really care. Okay, he goes for HP fire. So, sucker punch was the play there. So, yeah, that's what a lot of people say. You just spam sucker punch with your marvel. But I thought he would have substitute. And if he had. I guess if he had substitute, it doesn't matter. I can still sucker and break his sub next turn. But if he went for substitute and then like call mine and kept on playing my sucker, it could have been annoying. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna just go to Tangle and click knock off. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play that well. I should have just spent sucker punch. My fault. Um, I played the beginning wall though of this game, and I didn't really have. Any reasons not to suck it, I guess. Oh well, this is nice. This will be about 34 minutes. So I will keep it at that. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, Psychic crit or Psychic might kill me from this range. Uh, he, he, I'm pretty sure he has to crit me. He can go hard in the Bulu, but if he goes hard in the Bulu, he loses his Scarf or Band. Um... Yeah, I kind of like Poison Jab on Scarf Jump for Tapu Bulu, but this one doesn't have it. This one has Drain Claw Outreach, Off Quake, and Rock Slide. And we just sack this, and then he has Mega Horn, which makes me like this makes me believe he's not choiced. I mean, even if he's choiced. He scarf this a uh, resist this so I'ma just end this with a never ending nightmare. Yeah he scarf but I knew if he if he was locked in, he was locked into that if he was scarf so let me drop that nightmare on him and see GG And we can check our rank as we're seven and oh yeah nothing crazy nothing crazy new alt um Yeah I know I've never been super high in my life was only decently high in the one where with friends, but I think we had 700 something and yeah, and that one life 
like sometimes I'm kind of slow with my plays. I like I gotta be honest with you guys. Like I take like I take my time. I like to like slow down a bit. Cause when I play fast, I misplay sometimes a lot. So I wanna try to avoid that. And when I had sorry in the video, he just plays super fast. So <laughs> that was kind of bad. Like I have nothing against him, but he just plays way faster than me. And it's just that I didn't make like I didn't make that many plays myself in that life. And yeah, I want to record a few battles or lives on my own, so I can show that I don't like I can play make plays on my own. Even though yeah, like the play on the Volcano was pretty nice, and the HBI is <laughs> knowing he wouldn't sack the packs. It wasn't necessary, but it was also a nice play. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me know um, if you have good mobile teams. Please um, leave a comment or uh, leave a placement for them, or uh, just send them to me on my Smogon wall, wherever. Like if you have teams that you want to share, you obviously don't have to share your teams, or you can hit me up on Skype or Discord, wherever you wanna. And stay tuned for more SPL, which is gonna be coming on the weekend. Last SPL on the Sunday, I missed a lot of games, so I only have a few more SPL games to upload for you. Mainly Ubers. I think I have one or two more Sun and Moon OU. I think the Porsche was a Steve Angelo game I recorded. Yeah, so I missed a few games there. I feel like I lost my train of thought. So basically my internet died like Sunday in the evening when I was recording SPL and it died for like 14 hours. Like when the next day when I woke up it was still dead. But it's fine. I still have a like like overall I recorded a lot of SPL last week anyway. And week seven week eight is going on for SPL now. Oh okay, yeah, what I wanted to say, um, I might leave this um, team in the comments down below in the pastebin. Someone asked me to do that. I have to ask Jesus sorry if, uh, if he gives me. If he's fine with that, basically, but I'm pretty sure he will be fine with that. And yeah, stay tuned for the next live. Also, leave suggestions down below what mods you want me to use. So if you want to see team building videos. I made a new team actually with Band Hooper, which is pretty cool, but... The team needs some changes. So, yeah, anyways, I'm out. I made this outro way too long. Peace out, friends. Thank you if you stayed until the end. And I'll see you next time.